I want you to be able to answer any acute cervicitis question you get on step one. So let's say that we have a patient, they have some postcoital spotting, they have a friable cervix, microscopy shows neutrophils. What you would need to know is that this can be caused by chlamydia and also nitrogen. And what step one loves to ask is how cervicitis becomes this other thing called pelvic inflammatory disease. Now, if acute cervicitis is untreated, then infection can breach the endocervical barrier, and then it ascends into the uterus and the fallopian tubes. That can then cause salpingitis, which is fallopian tube inflammation. And on step one, you're very likely to see that inflamed fallopian tube can cause infertility. And it does this because pelvic inflammatory disease is gonna have all that fibrin and also that inflammatory exudate and also the tubule walls sticking together. And the way that this is gonna heal is by scarring, which in other parts of the body is gonna be great. Yay, we have a scar, but obstruction is gonna prevent the oocyte transport. So you have tubal factor infertility and also an increased risk of ectopic pregnancy. And it's because of those scars, because of how it heals. So the high yield for acute cervicitis is that if it's left untreated, it causes pelvic inflammatory disease. And then pelvic inflammatory disease causes tubal scarring and tubal scarring causes infertility and also ectopic pregnancy. So now you know. Early cervicitis may be asymptomatic, and so screening is super duper important. If you found this helpful, then like and subscribe.